Today, first state in the nation is going to declare a disaster emergency on gun violence. For the first time ever, gun violence in the city is a disaster emergency. And Governor Andrew Cuomo says it should be dealt with similar to the pandemic, starting with the alarming statistics this weekend alone. More people are dying of co gun violence and crime than COVID. 51 were shot, 13 died of COVID over the July 4th weekend. It was standing room only at John Jay College of Criminal Justice as the governor signed an executive order in front of community leaders, lawmakers, and families directly affected by gun violence. It starts today. The order includes a comprehensive plan that touches seven key areas, treat gun violence like an emergency public health crisis, target hotspots, offer positive engagement with at-risk youth, offering them jobs, break the cycle of violence, get illegal guns off the streets, keep guns out of the hands of dangerous people, and rebuild the police community relationship. Right now, $138 million will be invested to fight gun violence and get programs started immediately. This move comes as shootings are up 38% in the city compared to the first six months of 2020. And Cuomo says it's affecting more neighborhoods of color, but should concern everyone, especially if New York wants to attract tourism. People only will come back if people feel safe. And the governor is also requiring the NYPD to report all shootings to the state so that the state can have a handle on the neighborhoods where we're seeing gun violence the most, as well as uh, the governor will have a council of community members. They will act as advisors so that the community's voice can also be heard here with the policy making. He says this is more about policy and less about politics. For now, we're live on the west side. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.